Let's walk like we did when we were young. Feel the breeze in our hair, rain on our tongues. Remember when? Remember then we had it all, all in our hands. All in our hands, all in our hands, we let it slip away. On a hill, shadows cross the field. Explored everything nature would reveal. Remember when, remember then we had it all, all in our hearts, all in our hearts, all in our hearts, we turn it away, done and dusted. Dusted and done Decided long ago Can't fool anyone How people act How people act When they lose their way Lose their way Let's touch again like when we first met Smoked a hookah, knew better days were coming yet
seconds of you.
Driving or working at your computer and looking for a podcast that's thought-provoking, fun, and musical? Strung Out is the Martin McCormack podcast that gives you a piece of his mind that will have you asking for more. Go to martinmccormack.com and click on the podcast link. Marty fans, Ma Gilmore here. We're talking about school and education. Maya Angelou has a quote, do the best you can until you know better. And once you know better, do better. That's such a great quote. This life is a journey. We're supposed to be learning every step of the way. I come from a whole family of educators. Uh, my grandmother and grandfather were teachers. My aunt was a teacher. And before my mom had her accident, she was a teacher. She found herself in the sixth grade. Now, she always said, I really like fourth and fifth graders better because sixth graders think they know so much. Well, one day she was really kind of infuriated with her class. And so her voice got louder like it sometimes does with all of us. And the principal went by her room and heard her voice loud and he called her aside and he said, Mrs. Harris, you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Good lesson. Softness. And she took that to heart and never had another problem with sixth graders again until I was in the sixth grade. Now, my education was kind of a long process. I graduated and uh, I was older when I found myself in a, in a law department and, uh, and I loved it. But the teacher that I really loved was when I was in ninth grade. I am not a math whiz like my dad was, but he expected me to be. And so I had this second year geometry teacher and I was struggling when she would grade and wherever you were from 100% on down, you were in a row going with the highest grades and going to the last row and being the lowest grades. Well, I inevitably always found myself in that last row. And she took me aside and she said, would you like me to help you? I can help you. And so for about three weeks, I stayed after school and I was learning from her and she took such an effort to help me learn. She showed me what goes with what until it made sense to me. And you know, that mentoring of me, that next test, I found myself in the first row, and I was so proud. I also think that education doesn't have to be expensive. Our, 
my greatest classes were at a, a free college, LACC, Los Angeles Community College. And the thing that was so great about this school was that those professors worked in the business. I had a drama teacher who had been in Gone with the Wind, and I learned so much from him. And uh, there were, for film, there were professors that worked for The Tonight Show. Finding yourself with all those beautiful people who knew what they were talking about. A quote from my mom is, learn something new every day. Now, this life is a journey of lessons. And every day, find yourself something new, whether it be art, whether it be music, something you don't know anything about, that's fine. But once you learn it, practice it, pass it on, help others. So while you're at school on this lifelong journey, Please remember, pass on your love of education to your kids. A knowledge that it doesn't have to be in a schoolroom. It can be on a pathway of life. So, peace to you all. And may there be peace in this world. And through educating ourselves about happiness and peace and keeping an open heart, maybe we can spread that peace around the world. This is my Gilmar saying, peace. Hello, Polly Chase here, presenting another detail of Martin McCormick's latest painting. Here we see the bull elk standing front and center, much like a school mascot, an iconic animal that is full of natural character and added wit commanding your attention, and hinting at a frolicking good time. Next week, I will reveal the entire painting and announce a special opportunity for Mr. Marty Show enablers. You can cheer Marty on by browsing the online gallery at martinmccormick.com. Email me at martyfineart at gmail.com to claim a mascot of your own.
September 2nd. Special musical guest, Kaya Sur, on the Mr. Marty Show. Yeah. 
school? It's all about school and how we learn from our mistakes and so far good. On the list of my job, on the list of my job. Apple Gun Discord and the start of school. First day lessons are better than cool. Thank you for watching the Mr. Mike Show and have a great news year at school. Bye. It's Mr. Mike.